you know, the older I get, the more I start to realize that there comes a point in time in everybody's life where you got to grow up and you got to start looking back on the mistakes, the choices, good and bad, that you've made in your life and accept responsibility for them. Now, I'm not saying I, I'm one of the most guiltiest people of this. It's easy to sit back and to blame him, blame her, blame this, blame that on why you are where you are in your life right now. And I did some some real hard searching into my soul. I look back and no matter what's happened to me, good or bad, I am where I am and I am what I am because of me and nobody else. Yes, there are extenuating circumstances that may guide things this way or guide things that way, but in the end, we all have a mind of our own. We all have choices to make, good or bad, right or wrong. We are where we are because we are who we are, because we've made the choices that we've made. A lot of the times we stand in our own way and we blame the world for it. We blame our parents, we blame our siblings, we blame our loved ones, we blame our significant others, our ex-girlfriends, our ex-wives, but it's not their fault. Yes, there may be some things that have happened in your life that you haven't liked, that have been hard. Nobody's life is easy. Okay, well maybe not nobody, but the vast majority of people's life isn't easy. And it's a real difficult thing to do, to look back at your life and realize that you're not perfect. Yes, it's a hard pill to swallow, but no, no one is perfect, including me, including you. But what you have to do is set your sights forward. Because I'll tell you something right now. If you want something, you will go out and get it. There are people out there that have three jobs, a handful of kids, and still make time to go to school still make time to work towards their degree. If you want it, you will go and get it. The only person standing in your way 99.9% .9 of the time is you and nobody else. So we can sit here and point the finger and say, oh, the world is like it is because gay people are gay or because, you know, um, these people are criminals and they'll never do no good. You can't do anything about the person next to you. You really can't. I mean, if somebody commits a crime or does something wrong, you can throw them in jail. That's about it. But anything you say or do is not going to change another man unless that man wants to change. I can't control what you do, say, or think the same way you can't control what I do, say, or think. Change starts internally. If you want to be better, if you want to do better, you have to decide to do everything in your power to move mountains to make it happen. I'm 27 years old. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I've wasted a lot of time and I've BSed around and said, oh, well, it's so-and-so's fault. And, you know, my life is like, my life is the way it is because of the choices I made. I was lazy. I procrastinated. I could have done a lot more. I'm 27. My life isn't over. But I got a good head on my shoulders, and I think if I keep this mind state, I'm going to be all right. I'm just saying, don't waste your time. Time is the most precious thing that you have. So no matter what you do, think. Think and accept responsibility and move on. Don't linger on the past. Don't linger on negative people that, that, that are only going to bring drama into your lives. It's not good. It's a waste of time. And you're going to look back on it and you're going to regret it. Focus on yourself. Focus on your goals. And if you're with somebody that has your back and supports you, you guys can have each other's backs and focus on the future together. That's even better. But if you're with somebody that's negative, that's a distraction, get out of it, man. Focus on getting your life to where you want it to be. That's all I want to say, man. Your time is precious. Use it wisely.